This is my 2007 Mazda RX-8 track car. And this is a rotary compression tester. Today, what we're gonna be doing is compression testing this car, taking it to an intense track day, and then compression testing the engine afterwards to see what the changes are. But first, before we get started, let's give you some background of this car. This is my 2007 Mazda RX-8 track car, equipped with a manual transmission, and it has a bit under 90,000 miles on its second engine. Before the track life, this car was my daily driver for almost four years. Compression is important for any internal combustion engine, and rotary engines like the one in this car have a bad reputation of failing due to low compression. So let's see what kind of damage a track day can do to one of these Renesis engines. Intense track day can really cause damage to your engine. The high heat and high RPM causes the seals, the housings, the bearings, they just, they just aren't meant for that. So in these rotary engines, it's gonna be really interesting to see how just one day track day affects the compression. All right. Now let's crank it over and see what compression we get. So now that we've put the car through an intense track day, let's see what all of that heat and excessive RPMs did to our compression. So we got 99, 194 for the three faces, and this is the rear rotor. All right, uh-oh, I lost my key. All right. Now we've got it hooked up to the front rotor, which was lower last time, but uh, let's see what our compression is. Ninety-four, ninety, eighty-five. Okay, so that's definitely blow by. That's making that get reduced even further, and that lower RPM. That's very interesting. Cool. Cool experiment. Okay, let's just lay out the numbers first. The compression before the track day on the front rotor was 198 and 94 PSI for the three faces. And for the rear, it was 104, 102, and 101. Now, after the track day, for the front rotor, we have 94, 90, 85. So those are a minus six PSI, minus eight PSI, and minus nine PSI difference. So the lower compression the face started with the more it dropped by. So 94 dropped to 85, but 100 only dropped to 94. So that's a six versus nine PSI drop. And that's actually confirming the accelerated failure due to blow by. So as your engine lowers in compression and it's gotten a lower compression, it's gonna blow by, it's gonna actually cause it to fail faster. So as it drops, it doesn't kind of just linearly drop in compression. It drops a little bit and then it gets to a point and then it's kind of exponentially and it drops down. So that's why once you start to get in that 90 PSI, it's gonna start dropping really fast. I mean, this was a track day too, but still this is only 
one day of driving that did all this. And then for the rears, we got 104, 102, 101 for the beginning, and then afterwards, 100, 99, 94. So they started up higher, so the drop was only minus four PSI, minus three PSI for the second one, minus five PSI, which wasn't nearly as much as the front rotor. So you can really see how much, first of all, how much a track day, those high heat, high RPM, affects your compression in your rotary engine. But also, once your compression starts to drop, it's gonna start dropping faster and faster. So that's why if you have maybe 80 or 90 PSI on your engine, you're gonna to have to start looking for a rebuild pretty soon um, or something because it's gonna start failing faster and faster. You can't rely on that same time from when you had 100 PSI to 90 PSI, but now, because 90 PSI to 80 PSI is gonna be like that. Um, and then these are actually really interesting results and they do back up the, uh, all the information on how blow-by accelerates your compression loss. And it was really interesting to see also just what one track day was able to do to my engine. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and learned something from it. I sure did. Those results were incredible. I was not expecting something like that. But please consider subscribing. Leave a like if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment. I'd love to hear your thoughts about this. I'll see you in the next one.